Hello. Our academic rally is one of the most valued events of our school year. And this year is no different. The show must go on. So here we are celebrating all of the successes that you made happen this year. And these successes regarding variety of areas, content areas, academic achievement, your GPA, so on and so forth. There is a lot to be celebrated and a lot to be proud of. This year is quite different because we are conducting this event virtually, which does not entail less recognition by any means. In fact, you can expect even more recognition. And now this event is part of history. And let me explain why. Often our academic rally is held in person where everyone's part of an audience. And you might see one or two people filming the event that's viewed 10, 15 years down the road. We definitely see that happen. However, it's not that common. Today... Not only are you able to view this, but this is something you are able to view at any time. It's a part of the cloud. You can access at any time. And the world can see that this glass is half full always. Things happen for a reason. And most importantly, today is about you. Congratulations. Once again, I'm very proud of you. Each of you individually is important and you have something to show and share with the world. Again, congratulations. I'm sending you lots of cub love and good vibes. Take care. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our first ever virtual award ceremony. This academic rally is our second one of the school year for 2019-2020. So number two represents the end of our school year. Here we are to celebrate all of the success for our students. This year has been a difficult one for all of us. We've gone through a lot of heartbreak, grief, confusion, frustration. However, yet we are in this stronger together, collectively, as a community. We grieve together. We experience frustration together. We struggle together. But we also achieve together. We work together. We support one another. And for that, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. This has not been an easy year for any one of us. Not for staff members, family members, students, anyone. Yet, you've been steadfast. You've worked hard and you never gave up. So kudos to all of you for your achievements, whether big or small, you've achieved something this year that you should be proud of. I hope that you view the teacher's presentations, the awards to all the students, and I just want to say a big hearty congratulations to each and every one of you that is recognized today and for those that are not recognized today. That doesn't mean that you're not a winner. And at the end of the year, everyone deserves a huge, massive pat on the back for what we've endured. I miss all of you. I hope that you're staying safe and healthy, and I hope to see you in person the next school year. Take care, and congratulations once again. Wow. It's a very important time. Our student recognition, the awards, congratulations for your hard work. Well done. You deserve this recognition. I know that our school year is coming to a close. So thank you for your dedication to your schoolwork and completion of assignments. I hope you have an outstanding summer. I'll see you in the fall. Hi, everyone. 
I hope you've been doing well. This award is our perfect attendance award intended for our third quarter. The student, these students have not missed any school days. Great job to the students that are receiving this recognition. This award goes to the student that demonstrates passion. They truly roll up their sleeves and they're in it to win it. They're constantly revising their work. And this award goes to... Congratulations, congratulations, Shamaya Miles. I'm very proud of you. And I look forward to seeing more of your outstanding work in the fall when we return to school. This award goes to a student for their academic achievement and citizenship, meaning a person that is actively contributing to their community. Our school has been blown away with this student's commitment to volunteering, to their active engagement with the CSDR community. This student deserves it. This award goes to a student that really excels in the area of math. They work hard and the student immediately has their hand raised as soon as I've begun teaching. And I ask them, what's going on? And they respond, I've already completed my assignment. So just really blows me away, always ahead of the game. And I call the student my teacher's assistant because anytime another student needs assistance, they step in and lend that helping hand. And this award goes to... So this is a reading award, our Esther McGarry Reading Award, intended for a student that is one of our top readers. And let me talk a little bit about our student here. Their reading scores are off the charts. Truly, they are. And they don't even believe it when I tell them that, but they are. This student should be so proud of themselves. We value you very much as a student and you just, you do awesome with your reading assignments, the group discussions. And whenever we go to the library and I refer them to a particular book, they always tell me that they've already read that book. I'm just always blown away by this student and I look forward to seeing what more you will provide. 
So this student is Natasha. Congratulations, Natasha. I'm proud of you. Hi. This award is going to our most improved reader. We have so many students that have worked hard and have definitely made gains as a result, but this student in particular made a marked improvement with their reading, not just with their map scores and star scores, but also their attitude has had a shift. And this student is Christian Rilla Rosa. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're funny. Well, thank you. I appreciate you giving me the heads up. Cool. Okay. We got to talk later. Something important just came up. Hello, Cubs. Scarlet and gray. What is up? All right. Well, here today, I am uh, here to award our most improved communicator. So a student that didn't really communicate too much, didn't have much to share at the beginning of the year, and started to ask uh, for a particular signs, signs that they were not familiar with. And I saw a lot of acquisition from this student. Their receptive skills started improving. They started to ask more questions. I mean, consistently asking questions and communication as a result really improved. The student loves to participate in our conversations and again truly has improved in the area of communication anyone want to take a guess congratulations good job Hello. Okay, so here we have the Kurz Leadership Award. A student that's involved with administration through and through, very helpful their senior year, great ideas, a plethora of ideas, really has given their heart and soul. And this student is NICAL Best. Congratulations. Oh, oh, well, the science award this year goes to, well, let me say, there's been so many that I wanted to award, but one particular student would not leave our science lab, an eager beaver in the science lab. So I'm awarding this year's science award to Andre. Great job. color hit. This award is going to a student that was very much engaged with STEM concepts. They were a self-initiator, arranging things so well, did an awesome job, and really individually just accomplished so much. And anytime there was group activities, the whole group relied on this student. This student is Logan Bravo. Good job. So our social studies students of the year, I'm awarding this student because of this student's passion. They give their heart and soul to the studies of history and also incredibly supportive to their group partners. 
they're constantly thinking about a myriad of things before they even get into class. That way, when they arrive to class, they're asking questions and questions about history. I mean, they have just a love for history. Student is... This is awarded to a student that, I mean, I have to say, first of all, there's been two that are more often than not engaged with organizations. And one is Amoy Jennings. The second, Nicholas Larissa. Congratulations to those two. for World Knowledge Student of the Year, the choice was clear, easy, Aspen. Several of you know that our team, our class has gone through a lot of changes this year and Aspen handled it so well. Her role shifted greatly uh, as opposed to last year and her expectations as a player increased, as a student increased, and she handled it so well. She kept the team together. She made it fun. She did great in Hawaii and returned only to practice more. And now that everything is shifted virtually, she's done great. I really look forward to seeing how much she will continue to grow as a player and a student. It is well-deserved this year, Aspen. Oh, wow. Most Improved Writer of the Year goes to this student that was like, red ink? No, do not put any red ink. I hate red ink. Essays? No, I'd rather just do a paper. But over time, the student was more receptive to essays and more receptive to just writing and their essays were beautiful. They were willing to accept feedback. And my goodness, with this red ink, they really accepted that. This student is Zoe Porter. Oh, most improved writer of the year. The student started hating essays. Oh, they couldn't stand the red ink. Over time, they acclimated. And their writing of essays greatly improved. Their introduction, the body, conclusion, beautiful. They were even asking for more essays and when the next essays, essay assignment would come. They were willing to work hard and not give up. Most improved writer goes to Raphael. This award goes to our writer of the year. This student has won various awards, more particularly pertaining to their reading skills, but this year they deserve to be recognized for their writing. Their essays have been phenomenal, but their creative writing has been impressive with variety of context, uh, whether it's formal, informal, they're able to do it all. One thing that really stuck with me is they had to come up with a creative play. After thinking about it for some time, they thought of Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland based on their fascination with this younger girl. And they decided to come up with an entire script, conversations, fights between Lewis and his, his wife. And I'm like, what on earth? Where did this even come from? They drafted this so eloquently. And I, I really, that stuck with me. Ty, you're a beautiful writer and a beautiful reader. And I look forward to everything that's to come for you.
all around bilingual language arts student. We've never awarded this before, uh, but because of this student, we decided that this student is just a champion in this department. Whether it's reading, writing, American Sign Language, this student has shown improvements in all areas. And whenever they are producing a project, it's guaranteed that they do it with a smile and they do an outstanding job. They're engaged with different organizations outside of our school and they represent our school well. They read well, they write well, they sign eloquently, just beautifully. So they're an all around bilingual language arts student and they deserve this award. Chloe Duarte, you have a bright future ahead of you. N stands for national, H, honors, S, society. Hi, I'm Darren House. And I am Jennifer Burnett. Darren and I are your Nationals Honors Association's NHS advisors. We sure are, and we are excited to announce our very first recipients of our awards. We selected these students based on particular criteria. First, they have to be either a junior or a senior, on track to receive a diploma, cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above, they must not have received a D or F any time during their high school career. They must demonstrate good leadership, citizenship, etc. So with the criteria in mind, we narrowed it down to four students. We sure did. First, Jamie. Jamie Cos Peck. Second student to receive this award, Aspen Goldstein. Third student, Zane Henker. And fourth and final student, Enrico Miller. Congratulations to our recipients. Outstanding. Hi everyone. Well, I'm here to present our high school principals award to our freshman student for 2023 class. This is our all around freshman with great achievement academically, athletically, and organizations all around skills and citizenship and leadership. This student deserves this award today. Their GPA was a 3.5 cumulative GPA. So congratulations to David Figueroa. Hi. All right. Here I am presenting our high school principal award to our top sophomore student, class of 2022. This student deserves to be recognized for their academic achievement, their organization, uh, engagement, athletics, etc. All around student. This student, our top sophomore, has a cumulative GPA of 3.86. Phenomenal. Certainly deserves to be recognized. Congratulations goes to Kendra Cogswell.
Hi, here I am to present our high school principal award to our top junior student, class of 2021. Their achievement in academics, student organizations, athletics, so on and so forth, our all-around student for our junior class, which this person demonstrates great leadership skills. Our top junior has a GPA, cumulative GPA of 3.74, just fabulous. Congratulations goes to Jamie Cospeck. Hi, here I am presenting our high school principal's award to our uh, number one senior student. This student deserves to be recognized for their academic achievement, student organization engagement, athletics, all around top student for our senior class. This student has a cumulative GPA of 3.31. Great job. Congratulations goes to Kyra Paranke. Hi, everyone. I'm here to present our top Cub Award. This award goes to our student uh, that is selected by the high school principal demonstrating what a true cub looks like. They're excelling in academics, athletics, student organizations, overall, just an outstanding student. I'm very proud to announce that our top cub award for this year goes to Nikel Best. Nikel has worked hard. She has really given it everything to organizations, to sports. You name it, her name is attached to it. Her cumulative GPA was a 3.57. And we're very, very proud of Nikel and look forward to seeing what her future endeavors include. Congratulations on your graduation, Nikel. We're going to miss you. Great job for the Top Cub Award. Now, our CT awards will go to particular students that were selected and they are awarded. I know we've got a very peculiar situation, certain challenges that have come our way and you guys have still worked hard through those challenges to achieve things throughout your academic school year. You deserve to be recognized for your achievements, congratulations. This award for animation uh, goes to a particular student in my animation class that have impressive skills. They are able to look at a drawing or an illustration and replicate it almost identically. This student is Vanessa Schneider. Congratulations, Vanessa. Hi everyone, my name is Wes Ranella. I'm the arts teacher here, and I'm here to announce the Art Student of the Year. This student just produces beautiful artwork, incorporating all seven elements to their work. The theory of color, 
is always applied. And as a result, they produce wonderful work. I have to mention this person because they truly do deserve this award. The student that I'm speaking of is Naomi Taylor. Congratulations. Hi everyone, hopefully all is well. I uh, am here to introduce our Automotive Student of the Year. I selected this student because they're always persistent with their work, taking care of their projects, after school, consistently seeing me to work on their projects, they constantly have a long-term project that they're working on. They also complete their class assignments. They've got a great attitude. They participate awesomely, and they're always positive. So I've decided to select this student. This student deserves this award, and that is Sebastian. Congratulations. Hi, Maureen Burns here, career prep teacher. I've narrowed it down to two students, two students that deserve this recognition for career prep. So the career preparation award goes to Natalie and Alicio. Congratulations, outstanding job. Hi, Character Counts Student of the Year actually goes to two students this year because they've demonstrated great citizenship in truly all of the pillars throughout their day, every day, whether or not they have a good or bad day, they always make the best out of it. Thank you for all that you do and representing our school so well. These two students are Usama Edwards, and Nikal Best, congratulations. Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is George Cartmel and I'm the construction teacher. I selected this student because of her work in my class. She's always participating. She's always helpful to the other students, actively engaged in any project, always asking questions, highly motivated. And this student is Kyra Paranke. Congratulations. Hello, Kave here, Kave Angarani, and I teach digital imaging. I selected this student because of their hard work and their ability to catch up on all their Photoshop chapters and assignments, any projects, they're caught up constantly and consistently. I'm impressed with their approach to the work, their questions, their motivation. And I recognize this student and wanted to select them for this award. Micah Silliman, great job. Hi everyone. Well, here I am for FCCLA, 
and Feast Student of the Year. David Prince and I had a long conversation about who deserves this one most. And we narrowed it down to one student, most particularly because this student has worked hard over the past three years and the personal growth has been amazing. Really amazed by this student. Just in terms of their attitude, teamwork, ethics, motivation, passion, they have it all. And this student will continue in this career after they graduate high school, no doubt about it. This award goes to Usama. Congratulations. Hello, Kave and Engarani here, a uh, game design teacher. I selected this student based on the fact that I asked them to develop and build a game and they went above and beyond. I mean, truly impressive. They stood apart from their classmates. They know what was expected and they excelled. It was a difficult task, it was challenging, but they met the demand. And this game, really, they used their game design. So, really impressive work. This student is Micah Savadra. Congratulations, Micah Savadra. Hi there, Wes Ranella, graphic arts teacher. I'm here to announce our graphic arts student of the year, knowing that all of my students are awesome. But I had to narrow it down to four things. A student that heavily participates, they use the printing equipment, the computers, they utilize everything and remain on task. That would be the first piece of criteria. Second is their creativity, especially when it comes to problem solving. Third element that I was looking at is they are a workhorse, busy bee, always utilizing that equipment. You can always find them buzzing around the classroom. And that fourth criteria was consistency with attendance. They were always there, absent rarely. This student is Winter Sloiter Obidos. Congratulations. Hello, I have an award for multi media productions and uh, this individual incredibly uh, motivated works well in group settings their ideas are just phenomenal and they're able to also have them come to fruition this student is Octavio congratulations Octavio and Another individual that I also selected did an outstanding job with their participation, their ability to edit. I mean, they've got a real skill when it comes to editing. Incredibly competent, great ideas. They're also good uh, in the theater department. And this student is Alyssa Duarte. Congratulations, Alyssa. Hello, my name is Robert Johansmeyer, and I would like to recognize this individual for her creativity. She does not limit herself. 
She's consistently challenging herself and always doing something new without asking for any assistance. Ariana Fleming is a student that deserves this award. Congratulations, Ariana. This is our TPP award, TPP On Campus Work Experience Award. And this individual that's receiving this award is someone that really does focus when they're working, maybe too much so, where they completely forget to come back and sign out for their next class. They're so actively engaged in the work that they're producing. And this award goes to Jeffrey Giordano. Transitions Partnership Program Off-Campus Work Experience Award goes to this student. And this student has had a few years under their belt in terms of work experience. However, this year, their place of employment is something very different than they were used to. It's a new environment. It's been a steep learning curve, new system, so on and so forth. But they acclimated nonetheless. They took full responsibility and handled it well. And this award goes to Kevin Pineda. Congratulations. Work Experience Employee of the Year Award goes to a student that accepts new responsibilities. They've grown a great deal over the years to the point where their on-site work supervisor has been incredibly impressed uh, with their ability to pick up any new responsibilities relatively fast. They're able to trust their work the supervisor that is, and this supervisor ultimately wants to hire this student. So this award is going to Favin Castro. Work Experience Employee of the Year Award goes to this individual, this person that's very motivated, highly motivated, attendance is impeccable, and this is the first time that they've engaged in off-campus work experience, but nonetheless, their attendance has been off the charts. Uh, they never gripe about the work. And the supervisor has been impressed with their level of ability to do the duties. And this employee is Edgar Gallardo. This student is recognized for their work experience. It's a unique award here, uh, but it goes to an individual that is ready. Whenever they're there, they're dressed appropriately. They're ready in every way they need to be, five minutes before it's time to go. This individual is quite reliable and they're willing to do any task required of them. They know their stuff. They know what's expected. They know what to anticipate at the work site. They know the terminology. And this award goes to Sophia Hofstedler. Hello, hi, Norman Weiss here. 
I teach transitions options program. So I teach in that department and the top student of the year goes to Daniel Buell. Congratulations. Outstanding student. And I wish him good luck in his future endeavors. Hi, Kave and Garani here, yearbook teacher, and I've selected this individual uh, for yearbook photography uh, student of the year. This student was selected because they are just highly motivated. They take responsibility uh, when it comes to taking pictures at sporting events, dorm events, etc. They're able to edit accordingly and meet my expectations at all times. Incredibly impressed with this individual. And this student is Nikel Best. Congratulations, Nikel. Hello, Kave Angarani here, yearbook teacher. Our yearbook student of the year, uh, I actually selected two this year. First, uh, this one person was able to really hone in on this one aspect of the yearbook to identify accordingly, arrange it appropriately, and it's been a lot of work required of them over the past few months. Second individual deserved this award because of their work throughout this entire year, uh, selecting themes, quotes, um, everything that's required of a yearbook, and they've handled it well. So the first one is Jason Velez Gutierrez, and the second one is Natalie Bucaria. Congratulations. So this year, 2019-2020 school year has been a unique one. We've uh, had to address challenge after challenge. So it's time to put aside those challenges and celebrate successes. We want to congratulate all of our students that received awards, that have improved. Thank you to all of you for your hard work throughout this year and congratulations. Most improved student of the year goes to this student because they did struggle at the beginning of the year. However, they were able to work with staff such as myself and all of us agreed that this student improved remarkably and they deserve this award. Brian Gonzalez. I thought long and hard about this one, but yes, most certainly this student is asking for everyone to engage themselves. They're always incredibly motivated. They've got great disposition when it comes to our culinary events, sporting events, whatever the activity is. They are a true leader at the end of the day and they enjoy being that leader for our students. And this student is Monet Thornton. All right, Cubs. I'd like to talk a little bit about this uh, student here. We've got the six pillars of character counts. They are able to demonstrate 
all of them very well. But two in particular, integrity being one of them. You know, Pinocchio, what happens when Pinocchio lies? The nose grows. You would never see this student's nose grow at all. It would be impossible. They also demonstrate respect and care for one another. Anytime they see another student struggle, they're there to lend that helping hand. If a student's sad, they're there to comfort that student. They're there to think outside of the box. They're well liked by their peers. Because of that citizenship, they really blow us all away with that. Samantha Saldana. Every year, we select one student for the principal's award in the ACE department. And this year is no different. This year, this student has done such a great job with just being a student, engaging with community activities, demonstrating good work ethic, and uh, demonstrating the ability to be a really good role model to others. They always have a positive attitude. And this individual, is Elena Barajas. Congratulations, Elena. Hi everyone, I'm here to present our Adaptive PE Award and it goes to Brock Jones. Brock Jones receives this because I've seen him actively motivated, supporting others, and it's a pleasure to witness that. Congratulations, Brock. Hi, PE award goes to uh, the workout lifter of the year. The student that has lifted all year, even via e-learning. They're continuously working out and they very much deserve this award. Dylan Eveland. Hello, this award now goes to Most Improved, an individual that has really made some nice improvements with their maturation, realizing how important it is to work out as opposed to years past. Uh, so Jason Bussey, good job. This student is actively engaged in every class, asking appropriate questions, sharing their opinions and thoughts. And this student is Cataline. Hi, most improved PE student of the year. This student is prepared for class every day. No discussions, no if, ands, or ors about it. They've shown some really nice growth. Most improved goes to Ty Willie. Hi, so Physical Education Award 
goes to uh, the PE Student of the Year. And I'm really excited to provide this award because every single day we see this student ready at 100%. They go out of their way to provide assistance, to helping with the setup, to taking things down, you name it. And this student is Jackson Ruthermund. Congratulations, all of you. Congratulations to all our students. Principals want to remind you of this. You are all members of our Cub family, always and forever. Also, you are number one. Don't let anyone let you forget it. Tips, advice for the summer. Keep moving, guys, at all times. Keep moving, keep active. Have a great summer.